Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Royal Caribbean cruise experts. And today, I'm on board the beautiful brilliance of the seas. I absolutely love this ship. I have so many incredible memories. My first time on board was all the way back in 2003 for an incredible 12 night Mediterranean itinerary. My family has been back several times since. We really, really love a lot of things about the Radiance class ships, and I can't wait to share them with you today. We're gonna to go through all of the public spaces. We also have all of the rooms and suites on our channel for you to check out as well, so that you can select the perfect one. Now keep in mind, when you're ready to book your next Royal Caribbean, Silver Sea, or Celebrity Cruise, make sure you reach out to Hard Travel, and you can do that right on hardtravel.com. We are your Royal Caribbean cruise experts. We know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with them, and we know that our advisors can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now the brilliance of the seas is what's called a Panamax ship. For a very long time until they opened up the new part of the Panama Canal, this size ship was the absolute largest that could fit through. The ship is designed to cruise in Alaska during the summer and go to the Caribbean in the winter or to go to Europe in the summer and then Caribbean in the winter. And it can also cruise all around the world. But because of that design, you're gonna see an incredible amount of glass. You have the beautiful glass elevator, so you don't have to stop the view even when you're in the elevator itself. And you're gonna find a lot of those amenities on board here that make this ship perfect for a longer cruise or a shorter cruise. Now let's check out what it's all about. Now we've started out a deck above the pool deck. So you can see the pool down below me here. You're gonna have two jacuzzis right there and a nice large pool. If you come down earlier in the morning, later in the evening, it's actually a really good pool for laps. Now, set all the way around the pool, you're gonna find the lounge chairs. So there's places in the shade underneath where I am right now. You have them out in the sun as well. And of course, anchored right in the middle below the sign, of course you can see the brilliance of the sea sign right there, is the pool bar. Now the pool bar is the heart and soul of the pool deck. Whether you have that drink package, you buy a la carte, or you skip it all together, the bartenders are going to be your friends. They're incredibly happy, they love what they do, and they really take the entire experience to another level. I say this on all of my tours, but if it's not for the crew, this is just a large ship. But what the crew does is they bring their love, their excitement, their happiness, and their humor to their jobs, and they turn this into the ultimate cruise experience. Now another feature that you'll find that was added on later to this ship is the large LED screen. So they'll set this up in the evening to watch first run movies, they'll have sporting events, think Super Bowl, things like that. You should have all of that there and then just set underneath the LED screen, you actually have a DJ booth and bandstand. So they're gonna get it cranking up here at different times of the day, turn it into a dance party, maybe supplement the belly flop competition. I am a multiple time winner, I'll give you the heads up on that. And you can just really enjoy what cruising is all about. Now up here on the deck above, this is really a sun deck. So you can see the loungers here behind me, they actually go all the way towards the back of the ship. They go all the way towards the front of the ship as well. And I did wanna point out that right here, I'm standing on the walking and jogging track. Now, same thing as the pool, if you utilize it earlier in the morning, later in the evening, you're not gonna to find too many people up here. And it's that perfect time if you want to exercise. Now, I also wanted to point out another bar. So you've got the sky bar right here. So that's the bar that's gonna service all of this area. They will provide drink service to all of the loungers here for you, you don't have to worry. Or of course, you can belly up against the bar and you can have that fantastic experience that I was just talking about. I also like that they have tables and chairs set right on the top there. That's that perfect place to do a little bit of people watching down below and also to set up for those movies and events that you can watch on the big screen. Now we're gonna to continue to head forward where we're gonna see our first glimpse of the Magra Dome. So when this ship was built, it was built, as I mentioned, for all types of different weather. So you have the ability to cruise in the colder weather regions. That solarium is that perfect enclosed space. It is temperature and climate controlled. We'll take you there in just a few minutes, but I wanted to give you a glimpse of what it looks like. So today it's closed, but if they open it up there, you're gonna have that indoor outdoor feeling in the solarium as well as they often do on a very nice day. 
Now, as we continue further back on the jogging track, you can see a little bit more of what I was talking about. You've got all the different loungers here. They're set up on either side. And then you've got the beautiful glass view. So one of the things about this ship, as I mentioned, is there's so many great places to take advantage of the incredible views. Now, I'm going to show you a few more things in the front before we head down. Now, I'm at the very front portion of where that jogging track is. You can see you have more of the loungers looking out at the incredible views. But this is just one of the many places where you could take advantage of those views. I love to be up here. You're kind of perched on top of the world. Now, right below here, there's another sun deck area. That's another one of those places that's specifically designed for all the incredible viewing areas. And then all the way at the bottom, in many cases, you can utilize the helicopter pad, too, when you're cruising through the scenic parts of the world. So now we are inside the solarium and you can see what it's all about. It's absolutely beautiful in decor and it's a really dynamic space because as I mentioned, it's temperature controlled. So just behind me is the pool. It's a pretty nice large pool for an interior pool. You're gonna have the bridge that heads over and then the beautiful elephants in the distance as that decor. So what you're gonna also find is a lot of seating in here. So there's seating that's in front of me there. You've got seating all the way around the sides and it's kind of two levels. So you have seats that are facing out at the windows and then you also have seats that are facing in to the pool. Now, another thing I really like about this pool is that you have a very shallow entry right here. So you can sit on the sides and just put your toes in the water if you just wanna cool off a little bit. Now, in addition to that, they also have a fantastic hot tub that's right at the end of the pool here, and you have showers on either side so that you can rinse off before you get in and when you get out. Now, I'm also gonna take you to two other spots. Let's head over to the cafe first, and then we'll check out the bar. Like on the Oasis class ships, they actually have a park cafe in here. So you're gonna find a wide variety of grab and go items. You got fruits, cookies, you know, I'll be back for some more of those, sandwiches and different dessert items. They also will have different items throughout your cruise. So right now you can get a roast beef sandwich made to order. And then they also have a really nice large salad bar over there. So it's a little bit of a spa style menu with other options as well. Now on this side of the solarium, you're gonna find seating on with tables for two, four, six, or eight, you can actually put them together. It's also a great place if you're not dining where you can sit and play cards and relax in the climate controlled environment. Now, I just wanted to point out the drink station. You're going to find these all throughout the ship. They're also back in the Windjammer Cafe, but these are all complimentary items for you. So you have teas and coffee. So you got your hot water right there, regular decaf coffee. You also have an ice machine and water. And then on the far side, you have the Nestle Vitality water. So they'll mix that up throughout the day. Usually you'll have juices in the morning, maybe orange juice, apple juice, things like that. And then right now they have iced tea, fruit punch and lemonade. And sometimes they'll mix it up with the infused waters as well. Now, once again, this is complimentary. If you wanna grab a hot chocolate, a coffee, tea, stop by anytime. Now, every great pool space has to have a pool bar. So in addition to the pool bar and the sky bar, you have the solarium bar. It's full service. You can get all your favorite cocktails, margaritas, mojitos, or of course, they have a bar tap over there. So you have a couple beers on tap as well. Once again, you can take advantage of that deluxe beverage package or purchase a la carte, and they're gonna provide service for the entire solarium area. Now, just behind me, you'll find one of Royal Caribbean's signatures, and it's a rock climbing wall. Now, this was one of the very first ones in the fleet. It's been so popular that they've put it on every single ship since, and they even retrofitted their older ships so that they have them as well. It's a really fun, complimentary activity that you can take advantage of. I know when I sailed on here with a couple of our friends in Europe, we had a competition just about every single day, and you actually see that they have different skill levels here as well. But the objective is to climb to the top, be the first one to ring the bell. So best of luck to that. But I love all of these complimentary activities. That's one of the things that Royal, I think, does better than just about anybody else is all of those inclusions. Now you can see the statue behind me. There's lots of beautiful decor inside and outside on this incredible ship. And I wanted to point out to the left-hand side here, the water slide. Now it's actually a pretty nice water slide for the smaller kids. My daughter loves this one. It's just her speed. It's absolutely perfect. And what I really appreciate about that, once again, a complimentary option for kids. This ship is fantastic, whether you're traveling as a couple, a solo, or if you're traveling with the family or multi-generational group, there truly is something for everyone. Now, in addition to that down below, they have a splash pad, they have a small kiddie pool down there as well. And then of course, they always have lifeguards on duty, but we always recommend that you keep an eye on the kiddos. Now on the other side, you're gonna find the basketball court. 
Now I played a lot of basketball on cruise ships over the last 25, 30 years. My dad was a basketball coach for over 40 years, one of the winningest coaches in California history actually. But every time we went on a cruise, we loved to play in those three on three tournaments. My dad, my brother and I, and then when I didn't cruise with them, we found some new friends that played as well. So they have free throw competition. Sometimes they'll do dodgeball. You see the soccer nets down there as well. Sometimes the crew will actually have quite a soccer game going in the evening, but it's a half court perfect for this size of ship. All right, as we always do, let's see if I still got anything going here. Oh, rim's a little soft. We'll get it one more shot. That was the first one. Got to get that warm-up shot out of the way. Oh, yeah. Just like I planned. All right, now let's do it for Coach. My dad is the master of the bank shot. He always wants to check and see if the bank's open. Let's see. No. Closed. So guess what? It's open for short transactions. We're good. Now let's continue to head aft to one of my all-time favorite cruise ship activities. Now I mentioned a minute ago the complimentary cruise ship activities, and here they have a great miniature golf course. You can come up here just about any time of the day. I'm gonna head right over and grab one of the putters here. So let's get that. All right, and then on the other side, they've got, uh, usually they have scorecards in here and balls. So I'll grab that and see if I've got anything going. Now for point of reference, we're at the very top aft of the ship. The miniature golf course actually wraps all the way around and it's an incredible place to view the world going by. Now this is a par four. Let's see what I got here. All right, I think this is one where you gotta lay up. Yeah, I don't see any pathways through there. Eh, yeah, I'm gonna lay up. All right, there we go. All right, that's one. Hmm. Hmm. The roll of the ship. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, a little bit of chicken left on the bone for that birdie, too. All right, let's do it. It's about par for the course. Well, that's if I make this. I knew it. All right, I'm taking a snowman and I'm moving on. All right, let's see if I can get a little bit of redemption on this par three. All right, that was a, a warm up, a warm up, we'll say. All right. Read that one just not perfectly. All right, let's see. All right, let's see what we got here. Wait, 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 birdie. I'm done, I'm never playing again. Now, one of the things I really like about this miniature golf course is it's a really nice large course. You've got beautiful decor all the way around. You can see the statues, you've got the seagulls, you've got the lighthouses. But to me, this is what makes this so unique and special. We're now in the very aft of the ship. You get unbelievable views. This is kind of one of those secret spots or you may want to head up to if you're going through the glaciers, you're going through the fjords or any of those really scenic areas. So the course is going to wrap around here. We're about halfway through. The sixth hole starts over there and then it's going to finish right behind the basketball court. Now, just after the basketball court, you're going to find shuffleboard, one of the all time complimentary cruise activities. I've played hours and hours of shuffleboard on board. It's a lot of fun. And also, if you love video games, you've got the Challengers Video Arcade. Now it is important to note that it does come at an additional cost. They've got all your favorites, the driving games, all kinds of fun in there, but you may wanna have that discussion with the kiddos before you get on board. You can set a budget for them. Sometimes you need to set a budget for dad too. I've been known to go a little bit overboard. Now, one of the fantastic features of this ship is all of the open aft spaces. You don't find that on a lot of other Royal Caribbean ships. So just below the miniature golf, you're gonna have another sun deck here. So you can see chairs and loungers that are out here looking out the back. And then just below me is the aft of the Windjammer Buffet. I love that you're gonna have indoor and outdoor seating there. We'll take you there in a minute. There's quite a bit of it, but I love the aft of the ship. You might just find me here. Not just for this reason, but as I round the corner, I see another one of my favorites. Those of you who know me know how much I love Azumi. Let's head on and get some sushi. So now we're inside Azumi Japanese Restaurant. This is the first of the specialty restaurants that we're gonna encounter here on board, and it's my personal favorite. 
In fact, my wife knows if she's looking for me on the ship, of course she can message me, but if she doesn't want to, it's almost always right here at the sushi bar. I always become friends with the sushi chefs. They're incredible at what they do. They're incredibly personable as well. Now, in addition to sushi, they have a wide variety. I'm gonna go over the menu in just a minute, but to point out the seating, you've got that sushi bar seating there. You've got booth style seating on the far side. They can push the tables together. So if you have a larger group, 10, 12, they can accommodate that as well. And then you're gonna have seating all the way around, looking out the windows and then more down the middle. Now, this was my favorite spot on my last cruise on the Brilliance. And I'm just gonna talk a little bit about why. A lot of people ask us about the menus. So here we go. I'll just do one of my normal orders here, if you will. So I love the soups. I usually get miso soup or I'll have a ramen. Um, you've got lots of small plates. So the chicken karaji is absolutely out of this world. My daughter loves it. We get it every time we come. Shrimp firecracker spring rolls, shrimp and ve uh, vegetable tempura, tofu ginger salad, crispy rice, spicy tuna, pork gyoza, seaweed wakami salad as well, vegetable fried rice, shrimp and pork wonton soup. Yeah, those are just the appetizers. Let's look at this. So you've got the Izumi spider roll, always get one of those. Snow crab California roll, rainbow roll, spicy crispy tuna roll, salmon lovers roll, seared tuna tataki roll, spicy crispy shrimp roll, crispy Philly roll, the Izumi Ryu Futamaki roll. I get that almost every time as well, it's delicious. Champagne lobster roll as well. That's really, really good. I had like three of them at one sitting last time. Uh, baked snow crab and salmon dynamite roll. Dynamite! I love that. Truffled creamy lobster tempura roll. So you want to take a little of that fine dining and mix it in there. And then for sushi and sashimi, they have the chef selection. They always know what's fresh and good, so they'll get that set for you. Um, then you have also the assorted sushi where you can choose what you want. They also have bowls. So this is where you can see it's more than just a sushi restaurant. It's perfect for most members of the family. Beef or chicken teriyaki, yaki udon, uh, Takansu ramen, that's uh, one of our fan favorites from a lot of our customers. Spicy miso ramen, poke bowl, or hibachi vegetables. But wait, there's more. There's dessert. You guys knew I wouldn't skip dessert. Crispy sesame balls, those are delicious. Uh, assorted mochi ice cream, that's my daughter's favorite. Warm chocolate lava cake, that's my favorite. Green tea ice cream, my wife's. So as you can see, there's a really nice large menu. If you get the ultimate dining package, you can dine here. You can dine a la carte as well. It's really up to you. So now we're headed into the Windjammer Buffet, which is the classic buffet option here on board. Now, the Windjammer on the Radiance class has always been my favorite design. It was one of the very first ones where they really spread out the entire buffet concept. So you're gonna have all your favorites. About half is open right now. We're later in the day on boarding day, but you have all the different salad options that you wanna choose from, ready-made, and you can also make it to order. You've got all the different hot food options as well. They've got cold cuts, sandwiches, paninis. In the backside, you're gonna have pizza, and then of course, all the classic American fare with the burgers and hot dogs. So I'm heading back in my favorite direction, of course, you'll see why in just a minute, but you can see all the different stations here. These are the hot dogs, hamburgers, chicken, cooked to order, pizzas on the other side, but the most important station of them all is up next, and that is, of course, the dessert station. You'll see me more than once here. I know there's a fruit side over there. It's okay, don't worry about that. I'll come back for that as well too. But you can just see a wide variety of options that you can have that are grab and go. Now, the other thing that I really like about the design about this specific Windjammer is at the very front, you have outdoor space to dine. And in the very back, you also have outdoor space to dine as well. Now we're actually transitioning now from the Windjammer to Rita's Cantina. So this is a Mexican bar style restaurant area where you can come and you can get some fantastic cocktails. You can see the full bar over to the side behind me now. You've got TVs up there for watching different sporting events. Now I'm gonna put my sunglasses on as we head out further into the sun. You can see the transition of the furniture here for Rita's. But what I really love about this more than any of the other spaces is the fantastic outdoor dining options. I love the aft of the ship. You've probably heard that a few times already. You have a ton of wide open space at the aft of the ship where you can dine. So you can grab your plate inside, bring it out. They also have a drink station on the other side and it's tiered. So up here you can get great views out. And then as we head further down, this is the spot you'll almost always find me sitting right here looking out the aft of the ship the ship's going to sail in just a few minutes and having those incredible views now they will provide drink and bar service all throughout this area as well you can take advantage of your drink package or buy a la carte now we've come to that part of the tour we found the most important part of the ship it's not the engine room it's not the bridge it is the soft serve ice cream here you're going to see the soft serve ice cream she knows me here's the first one 
And you know, what I love about soft serve is everybody loves it. It's absolutely delicious. It's complimentary. My daughter, my niece and nephew, they always have us come here a few more times. Now, some of you guys may be on the amateur level where you get a swirl. Thank you so much. But we do it right here at Hard Travel. We make our own swirls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need a minute, Taylor. I'll see you in a little bit. Mm -hmm. So now we're just inside the StarQuest Lounge and Disco. This is up in the crown of the ship itself, and there is a ton of lounge space up here. So you got this nice large circular area with chairs in the middle. So if you wanna get a more social setting, you can do that. And also all the way around the glass windows, you're gonna have tables and chairs. So you've got the full bar right here, but it's not just any bar. Royal Caribbean's done a lot of first in the industry. They've kind of taken technology to another level and this bar rotates. So the inside of the bar does not, of course, the bartenders are gonna be there, but the seats that you can kind of see down here, there's a whole platform. It's gonna rotate around slowly. So I guess you can see multiple bartenders at one time. Now it's just a lot of fun and I love that it was a bit of a novelty, but it really caught on and people enjoyed it. Now you can see a little bit more of the lounge seating all the way around here. And then as I step up this stair, you're gonna have the grand piano. So they'll have this playing in the evening when they're doing kind of the cocktail hour, more relaxing. They'll have a, a pianist that will be up here. And then all around, you're gonna find more of that lounge style seating. But right here in the middle, I have so many incredible memories from my 20s and 30s dancing here on this very floor. In fact, they're flooding back to me now. And that's what I love so much about cruising. You come back on a ship and those memories come back to you. We have so many friends that have cruised with us in the past and family members, some of them who aren't with us anymore, unfortunately. And every time I come back on board, it's that wonderful memory of bringing back the fun times that we had together. So you've got the DJ booth behind. They'll use this for different kinds of game shows. They'll do trivias, all kinds of things up in this lounge. But right here in the middle is an extra large dance floor. So you can grab your partner, head on out and have an incredible time. Now we're just inside the concierge suite lounge. So if you're in a full suite or you're a Pinnacle member, you can utilize this throughout your stay. Now the best feature is actually the concierge themselves. They can help you make reservations, answer questions. They can take care of just about anything for you and they are incredible at their job. Now the space itself, if you were on here maybe 10, 15 years ago, you'd recognize it as the Hollywood Karaoke Lounge. So you can see along the wall, they still have paraphernalia that goes all the way back to old school Hollywood. I see Humphrey Bogart over there. So that's really the theming that you're gonna find in here. But they totally renovated it a few years ago and they turned it into the concierge suite lounge. So you've got your espresso maker. You can come up and make a cappuccino, a latte, an espresso, any time that you would like. And then each and every single evening, they're gonna have hot appetizers here. Love to come up for the cocktail hour. So they have a complimentary cocktail hour each evening. And then the mornings they'll have co complimentary grab and go items for continental breakfast. And they'll even have some sandwiches and things for lunch. So this is your home away from home if you're a full suite guest or one of Royal Caribbean's top pinnacle members. That means that you've made 700 points, either 700 days at sea or 350 in a suite. Now over here, you're gonna find the main part of the lounge. So they've turned the stage itself into a part of the lounge as well too. You've got tables for two, four, and then larger booth style seating. It's really all about the social setting. You're gonna meet fun people here. In fact, we still are, have quite a few acquaintances that we've met in the Diamond Club and the Suite Lounges over the years that we stay in touch with. Now I'm gonna head up further to what may be the most important part, and that is the bar. So you're gonna have a fantastic bartender in here. They'll provide bar service with waiters throughout the entire lounge, or you can sit at the bar itself and have a drink. Once again, that complimentary happy hour each and every single evening is fantastic. Now I love this indoor space, but I really, really appreciate the fact that they've added a larger outdoor space. Now the concierge club used to be down further. I think it was on deck seven or so, and that is now a two bedroom suite. You can see that on our channel, just in case you're a little bit nostalgic and interested. Now, in addition to the concierge lounge, they also have a diamond lounge. Now I'm a diamond plus member myself. My daughter is as well. I love the way that Royal Caribbean treats their past passengers. They allow family members to give their status to their kiddos so that they can actually take part in all of the events as well, in addition to spouses. So my wife, my daughter and I all can visit the Diamond Lounge. Now this is used throughout the day. Over on the far side here, they'll have a quick continental breakfast for, for breakfast, you know, some grab and go bites, same thing for lunch. And then they'll do a happy hour each and every single evening where they'll have hot appetizers. I think I've eaten my weight in chicken wings and pigs in a blanket there. 
You also have the espresso maker. This is complimentary. You can use throughout your cruise as you like. Espresso, you can have an Americano, a latte, a cappuccino as well. Now in the evening, this is used as the lounge space. So you can see there's quite a few seats there. Way back when, when the ship was built, this was actually part of the disco lounge area because we're in the Viking crown. Now this is one of those signatures of Royal Caribbean. If you see a Royal Caribbean ship from far away, you can always see that crown on top of the ship and it's also on the logo. So you've got the seating all around here, but just like the suite lounge, it's that concierge that makes all the difference. They can make plans for you like reservations, answer questions. We've had some amazing ones over the year. In fact, I think Mario, Willie used to get out his guitar and play. A lot of them are just a ton of fun in addition to being phenomenal at their job. Now I did want to point out that sometimes they have a lot of past passengers that are cruising on the vessel. In that case, they'll open this door up and they'll cordon off this part of the lounge just for the happy hour portion. So you can come out here and you can enjoy the cocktails as well. Now Royal Caribbean's mixed it up a little bit where you can get drinks throughout the ship instead of just the happy hour. We'll see where they go with that in the future, but you're always gonna get a couple complimentary drinks every single day being in the top tiers of their loyalty program. Now, what I love about this entire space is you've got those amazing views. It's great for people watching down below. And then as you continue on through the space, you get even more views on the side of the ship. Next up, we're gonna check out the Kids Club here on board. That is the Adventure Ocean Center. Now, the Adventure Ocean program has been successful for Royal for decades. In fact, I participated when I was a tiny one, my very first Royal cruise being on the original Nordic Empress, then became the Empress of the Seas. But what I love about it is that they have something for every single member of the family. As an educator myself, I taught middle school for 10 years, and I've actually taught at every single grade level. I know that if every member of the family is happy, everybody's gonna have an incredible vacation. So they have activities dedicated to each and every age group. They've got it segmented down and they actually start even with the littlest ones. So first up, we're gonna head in and check out Royals, Babies and Tots. This starts at six months old and it's a drop-off program. Let's check it out. Now the staff that works at Adventure Ocean loves what they do. They all have a background in child development, child safety, CPR, things like that. But you really have to love it to do this. They do an amazing job. It's basically like a series of Mary Poppins. They can get the kids to go down for a nap. They feed them, they change them at this age level. So this is six to 36 months. Once they get a little bit older, they'll move up to the full kids program. But over on the far side, they're gonna have a nap area. They've got some TVs where they can do movie time. They can actually lay that out on the ground here they have a big mat carpet where they'll do reading time. You can see the rocking chair over there as well where they'll rock the littlest ones. But the idea behind this is it's a great place for the kids to relax, hang out, so mom and dad can head on out and enjoy the ship and everything that cruising has to offer. Now, any parents love the idea of having some parent time as well as time with the family, and my wife and I do as well. So my daughter's been part of the Adventure Ocean program since she was very, very little. She's enjoyed it. She asked all the time to go back, and of course, you gotta give a big, big shout out to all of those camp counselors. She still talks about Chicken Nugget, her all-time favorite one, and asked me when we're gonna go see him on the Adventure of the Seas. Now I wanted to point out they have a similar check-in area for the Royal Babies and Tots, but this is the check-in area for the main portion of the Adventure Ocean Kids Club. So it's really important the very first day you're on board, head on up here, do your safety drill, and then head right on up, and you're gonna need to let them know exactly who can pick them up. So when we go on cruises, we'll authorize my parents, maybe close friends or family members. And what's great about that, we had this on our last cruise. My wife and I were finishing a really nice, wonderful dining for two at the steakhouse. It was running a little bit long. My mom came up, she picked my daughter up. They went and had fun. We got to have a great time. She got to have a great time and spend a little bit more time with grandma. Now it's divvied up into different sections. Sometimes they'll open it up to have joint activities. It just depends but let's check out the Aquanauts first. So this is the space dedicated to the three to five year olds. So you're gonna have all of those classic toys that you probably have on at home. In fact, I'm being a little bit nostalgic right now from when my daughter was littler. You got the little place, uh, kitchen area there. You've got a basketball hoop, lots of fun sayings on the side, reminders for them. You've got artwork all the way around. And then you have a massive craft station right here. So they're gonna have all kinds of different coloring, different activities. They even have some hands-on where they can put things together. Now, each of the areas has a dedicated restroom. The bathroom's just in there, so the kiddos don't need to leave the space to utilize that. And then on the far side, you've got a nice large booth area where they'll do reading. They'll also do game time and movies. 
Next up is the dedicated area to the six to eight year olds and the nine to 11 year olds. So you've got the Aquanauts, the Littlest, you've got Explorers and Voyagers. Now over here, you're gonna find video game stations that also double as craft stations. So they're gonna put in some new equipment here shortly. They're in the middle of a turnover as part of a renovation. And then as we head further back, it really, really opens up in here. Now you've got lockers all along the side where they are gonna do all kinds of different arts and activities. They'll have all of those there. My daughter did a lot of color Coloring. Sometimes they do beadwork, they'll do lanyards, different things like that. And of course, her all-time favorite, Gaga Ball. Um, but you can see here that this opens up as an incredible activity area. Right in the middle, you have a dance floor. They even have their own strobe lights and different music where they can have the dance parties in here. You've got the screen there. They'll set this up for movie time as well. So arts, crafts, movies, what you'll find is that there's something for every type of kid. Whether you're that hands-on science-y kiddo or you're one that loves arts, you're gonna have a great time here and have lots of choices. They've got foosball, they've got seating all the way along the side. They'll also bring in a lot more tables and chairs. And then on this side, you're gonna find the video game stations. So those are all ready for you to go play. I see an Xbox Connect right there. I think there's a Switch over there as well. And then you'll see more of those lockers. Now, just to point out, Right in the middle, there's actually a divider. So you can they can close this off completely and divide this up. So it just depends on how many kids are on board, what activity that they're doing. Now, as we continue along to the far side here, once again, you can see those lockers. You've got Arts of the Seas where they're gonna put up all of that incredible artwork, the kiddos. You've got Adventure Art in there. Those are all the different lockers. And then over here, you basically have the equivalent of a full kitchen. So they've got sinks where the kiddos can wash their hands. That's their size down there. They have refrigerators and different things like that as well. And now we've made basically a full loop back to the front. Now, I've mentioned the crew several times. The crew members here are incredible. They're gonna make your kids vacation so much fun. They're gonna teach them, so they're gonna learn. They're gonna have fun together. And I guarantee you, your kiddos are gonna to wanna to come back time and time again, just like my daughter does. So now we're in the Optics Teen Club. This is the 12 to 17 year olds area. Right here you can see is a full dance floor. They even have a DJ booth back there, all the lights and sounds. They're gonna have a lot of fun. Now keep in mind with the teens, they'll also do a lot of things around the ship. They'll have sports tournaments with basketball, dodgeball, things like that. They even got the kids, kids pool area, or they may do something by the pool. With the teenagers, it's a little bit different. But in here, you can see you've got the flat panel TV there with a Nintendo Switch. You've got a fun little arcade game there that is complimentary foosball, and then you can kind of see the setup in here. It's meant to be like a disco nightclub. They used to do mocktails and all kinds of things here. They're not doing that currently. Maybe they'll bring that back at some point, but it's a great seating area. You see all the different heads of celebrities. In fact, tonight they're gonna do celebrity head bingo. So you gotta identify the celebrity and do it on the bingo card. And then over here, you've got Xbox, you've got Wii, and you've got Nintendo Switch. And then let's see, on the far side, you've got Xbox One. So you got 360 and one just about every kind of gaming console that you could want. So once again, depending on what your kiddo's interested in, this is an awesome spot for them. So now we're just inside the spa. The reception is just in front of me there. That's where you're gonna come to make all your appointments, ask any questions that you may have, or if you wanna take advantage of some of those duty-free retail options that they have, a lot of our guests love to take advantage of that. Now in here, you're gonna find all the treatment rooms, the relaxation room, I'll take you there in just a second, but I wanted to point out that you have an entry right up the stairs there where you can head up to the gym. We'll get there in just a second. Let's check out the spa first. Now the gents and ladies each have the separate sauna, steam room, and locker changing room. So you can see the lockers here when you come to get your spa treatment. They're gonna give you a little bit of paperwork to make sure they understand any of your needs, anything that they should or should not do. And then from there, you're gonna come in here, you'll get a locker, you'll get your robe on, and then you'll head out to enjoy your spa treatment. Now I love the idea that they have sauna and steam room in here that is complimentary. You're not finding that very often on cruise ships anymore. So in here, you've got a couple rainforest shower heads, so you can utilize that to shower off before or after the gym. You're gonna have a full sauna in here. And then on the far side, you're gonna have a full steam room as well. Once again, complimentary to use as you like throughout your cruise. Now the next stop on your spa journey is the relaxation room. This is where you're gonna go at the beginning of your treatment and at the very end of your treatment, you get yourself in that zen mindset. They'll usually have infused water, juices, teas, things like that. And you can see they have these really comfortable loungers here, and then you're gonna have chairs out the front. Now, just in front of this room, there's another deck. We talked about it earlier, but just for point of reference. 
Now, this is a sample of one of the treatment rooms. Now, Royal Caribbean offers a vast array of spa treatments. You can see the menus online. There's quite a few different options. Now, my personal favorite is the hot stone massage or a deep tissue massage. I really, really love that. It's a great way to relax and rejuvenate yourself on vacation. So in the room itself, you've got your nice comfy massage table here. You're gonna have a shower that you can utilize before and after your spa treatment. And then depending on the treatments they're doing, they may have different equipment. If you're doing a facial, something along those lines, or if you're doing a hot stone massage, you're gonna have the, the hot stone heater and man, that just gets me right in vacation mode right there. The only sad part is that sound at the very end. But I guess it just means I gotta book another one. Next up is the thermal suite. So this is part of that spa experience. It comes at an additional cost. You can buy a day pass or a pass for the entire cruise, but there's several different options in here. Right here, you're gonna find ice. So you can rub your rice on your body. So if you're going between some of the hot and the cold, it's really great for the immune system. So in here, you're gonna find a steam room and then continuing along, you're gonna find an aromatic suite. What I love about this is there's actually an incredible ocean view. So they're gonna have things like lavender, what, some of those soothing different aromas in there. Now on either side, you're gonna have a shower option. So they have an ice drench. If you want that really cold ice shower, you can get that. Or they have the tropical rainforest. And there's a really nice large rainforest shower head up above. Now right in the middle is where you are going to find the steam room. So this is a mild steam room. If you head on in here, you're gonna see that you have that bench seating. Now what's really unique about this is you actually get incredible views out to the ocean. So it's contoured to the body, so it supports the lower back. It's also heated as well. Now the place that you'll probably find me more than any other place are the hot stone loungers. So once again, it's ergonomically designed for your body. You've got that nice comfy pad on the top there. And then you're gonna have five of them in here where you can come in. I have a bad back. And so it's really nice to come in and get soothed, especially before or after shore excursions. Next up is the beauty shop. This is where you can sit, chat, enjoy a time with all of your friends. But of course, it's a full service salon as well. You can get men's and women's haircuts. They do just about any type of thing that you can imagine at home, they'll do here on the sea. So they have a barber area specifically for men. They're also gonna have pedicure and manicure stations with some of the best views in the entire world. And I love that the bowls for the pedicure station are even big enough for my giant size 15 feet. So what you'll hear, see here is all of the different stations. You got your check-in desk right there. This is a sample of one of the manicure stations. And then just over here, you'll find a sample of one of the pedicure stations. And I love that they have a nice massage chair, so you get a double treatment. Now, just up a level from the spa, you're gonna find the gym. Now, this is a very, very complete gym. You can find just about any of the exercise equipment you can utilize at home. They also do all kinds of classes. So right in the middle, you're gonna find the large floor area. So they're gonna do different aerobics, yoga classes, things along those lines. Of course, you can use it for your own training and you see all the way around, they're gonna have the spin bikes as well. Now those classes do come at an additional cost. You can check with them when you get on board. Now you have all kinds of different aerobic exercise. This is all of the different bikes here. You're gonna have treadmills that line the very, very front of the ship looking out in those incredible views. You've got stair steppers, you've got more bikes and then as you continue along you've got ellipticals and then more bikes on the far side and the rowing machines. So you have a ton of aerobic options. On either side of the wings area you're going to have free weights on this side. On the other side you're going to have all the different machines. So if you want to do a circuit workout you can work out every single part of your body. I know when I was on here way back when I was still a college athlete so I had to come up here every single day and train and now I do most of my training at the bar. I mean what can I say it is what it is. Uh, but once again, this is a great place where you can see all the huge floor area for the exercises, more of those circuit machines, the ellipticals, and then all along the wall there, you're gonna have a ton of different exercise equipment. Now at the very front of the ship, you're gonna find the Pacifica Theater. Now it is an absolutely massive space. We're up here on the top deck right now. So there's actually several decks here and it's all stadium style. So there's not really a bad seat in the house. Now you've got all the seating down below that you can see. And one of the little secrets that I love is you kind of have box seating up on either side on the top level and halfway down as well. Those are first come first serve, so you can utilize them as you would like. You can also kind of enter from the outside over there if you need to do a quick exit, maybe run to the kids club or something like that. So I, I do love that they have that there. Now you're gonna have full Broadway style production shows in here. They'll have comedians, they'll have jugglers, they'll have all kinds of different variety acts. There's gonna be entertainment each and every single night. 
So right now they're up there rehearsing for the show to come, but you've got the two large screens on either side. It's a world-class theater. Whatever type of entertainment they're doing in here, you're sure to enjoy. Now, one of the things that I really, really love on this ship that's old school is a true movie theater. Now, it's stadium style seating. They're gonna show first run movies, sometimes some classics as well. And it's one of the many venues on board that you can utilize if you have a group and you need to do a presentation. But 20 years ago when I was on for the first time, we watched a lot of movies. Every time we come back, we do that. I love that they have a dedicated movie theater. Now, just after the theater on deck six, you're gonna find the King and Country Pub. Now, every Royal Caribbean ship has a pub. It's one of those musts, and this is a great one. They've got a large assortment of bar options for you where you can get drinks, that uh, quite a few on tap, or of course, hard alcohol, wines. They've got it all in there for you, but it's a great social gathering space. They've got a dartboard, you've got different games you can check out, and a ton of TVs if you wanna watch the game. Now we're gonna head into the Casino Royale. Now, Royal Caribbean's always had casinos. They've always done a really good job with it. And we have a lot of our guests that love to game on board. Now, keep in mind, like always, you wanna do it responsibly. And if you have any issues with that, make sure you check with one of the crew members. But what this is, is a really nice, large, very diverse casino. So you've got all your classic games, you've got the new digital games, and then all the table games as well. In fact, I remember doing pretty good at blackjack here one night, not that long ago, this very table. You've got roulette over here. You've got blackjack, several different types. You've got single deck, multi-deck, ultimate Texas Hold'em, three card poker. And then on the far side, you're gonna find the craps table. Now it's kind of an interesting design of the casino itself. So all the main tables are gonna wrap around this like in a large U shape. On the other side, you've got the back entrance to the pub. But over here, you can see a lot of redundancies, more three card poker, blackjack, another roulette table. And that's the craps table I was talking about just over there. Now the casino itself is beautiful. There's fantastic decor, love the peacocks right here. You've got statues, beautiful stained glass, and right in the middle is the casino bar. It's not gonna open up before, until we set sail here in just a bit, but you're gonna find your favorite beers on tap, all the different hard alcohol options, and they'll provide bar service with the servers throughout the entire space. So now we're in the Grand Atrium. It's one of the most beautiful parts about this ship. And when they did the last renovation, they truly revolutionized the entire space here. So what you can see is it goes all the way up and they use this as a dynamic entertainment zone. So you've got lights, you've got music, you've got entertainment that goes all the way up and down. And you'll oftentimes find people standing or sitting on the edges up there on both sides where they can take advantage of what's happening in the atrium area. You can see here you have a full band set up, and then on the other side, you're gonna have the R bar. So this is that classic retro 70s bar that Royal Caribbean introduced a few years ago. It's been a really big hit. Now in this atrium space, you've got tables for two, four, and larger groups. They've got a large dance floor here as well. So they're gonna do dancing usually before dinner and after dinner. They'll have different kinds of parties and celebrations in the space as well. Now from here, you can get another great angle of it. You can see those glass elevators that go all the way up and down. In fact, one of our good friends always comes on board, loves to sit here and wave at people. It's a really cool thing. I love that. It's really social and interactive as well. Now you've got the two big American flags up there. We're sailing from Tampa here today. And as I continue through, you can see that the extension of the space is actually the guest services and shore excursions desk. So if you need anything to do with money, questions about your room, uh, basically anything that you could possibly need, the guest services desk is right here. This is the purser's desk. You're gonna see you've got the lineup queue here. My high recommendation is to get everything taken care of during the middle of the cruise. The first day and the last day, it is gonna get a little bit busier down here. Now you also have your shore excursions desk. They can answer just about all your questions on the shore excursions. Now it's always our high recommendation to book before you get on board. Though some do sell out, especially those that are motorized or small group, they can sell out pretty early on. So as soon as they become available in the app or your cruise planner, my recommendation is to go ahead and book it. Now you may wanna book a last minute one or adjust on board. They're gonna be happy to take care of that right here. Now one deck up from the atrium, the R bar and the dance floor, you're gonna find deck five and Latitude's Coffee. So this is your classic coffee shop here on board. I love that they serve Illy coffee. It's absolutely delicious. In fact, I just had an Americano a few minutes ago. Over here, they're gonna have all kinds of different snacks throughout the day. They'll rotate them. So you'll have pastries, fruits, things like that. Lots of grab and go items. Of course, they can make all of your favorites, cappuccinos, lattes, which is Taylor's favorite. And I'm always gonna stick with my Americano. 
Now from here you get a really good angle of what I was talking about where you've got tables and seats over here where you can sit and actually overlook the entertainment down below. And then continuing through the space, I just wanted to point out that you've got this other part of the coffee shop here where you've got these chairs and loungers. So there's some large ones here. You can take advantage of the incredible ocean views out to the side. And then right here in the middle is where you're gonna find all of your sugars and Splendas and things like that for you to utilize. So once again, it's a coffee shop, it's a social zone. And then you also get that overflow of the fantastic music from the atrium. Now, as we continue on through the space, I wanted to point out the next cruise desk. Now, the best time to book your next cruise is always gonna be when you're on board the ship. You're gonna get some special deals that you can only access here. It's either discounts or extra onboard credit. Now, if you're not quite ready to decide, you can also purchase an open cruise. And then when you get back, you have 60 days to take advantage of all of those promos as well. But you have to purchase that, either the actual cruise or the open cruise here on board. And as your travel advisor, we can take care of everything else from there on out. But what better place to pick your next cruise to Europe, to Hawaii, to the Caribbean, wherever it is that you wanna go, when, than when enjoying it on board the Brilliance. Now we're up one more floor on deck six. This is where you're gonna find Vintage's Wine Bar. It is an absolutely beautiful space. It got an incredible makeover during its most recent renovation. Now this is where you can take advantage of that partnership with the Robert Mondavi family of vineyards. So you can have all kinds of different tasting options in here. They have quite a large wine cellar for you to choose from. You can buy it by the glass, by the bottle, or of course, if you get that deluxe beverage package, you could take advantage of that here as well. Now, what I love about this particular space is the beautiful floor to ceiling windows looking out. You do have seating on the side there. They've got a nice large wraparound bar. And then of course, they've got those wine fridges over on the side. Now you can see more of that beautiful furniture right here. And this gives you another great idea of how you can get the overflow from that fantastic music down below played at the R bar there. You can also check this out for entertainment because you've got the seating that looks down on the atrium as well. Now for me, I have not been on a Royal Caribbean cruise until I've been to the Schooner Bar and a Radiance class ships have an incredible version of the Schooner Bar. Of course, it's nautical theme, referring to the ships that were in the Caribbean hundreds and hundreds of years ago. You can see the theming here with the ship in the background. Hey, there's my rum, I've been looking all over for it. But of course, it is a full size bar. So when we head in, there's lounge style seating all along and it goes all the way back. You've got more of that beautiful decor right here. And you can see a little bit of that lounge style seating that I was talking about. But what I found year after year is this is the place where you're gonna have the most fun. They're gonna have a piano player doing sing-alongs throughout the cruise. You have the best bartenders where they're gonna singing along and having a great time as well. Now, another way to elevate your dining experience here on board is Giovanni's Table. Now, everybody loves Italian food. They do a great job with it. There is an upcharge here. Once again, you can dine complimentary throughout the ship, but there's several specialty restaurants where they take finer ingredients and really take them to another level. So the seating in here is classic. It looks very Italian. You're gonna have the wine cupboard on the far side. You've got tables for two, four, or larger. You also have tables for two all along the window. Make sure you request those if you want that for a nice romantic dinner. But think of all your favorite Italian appetizers, pastas, they have great fish, the Branzino is fantastic, steaks and chicken dishes as well. So if your family loves Italian, make sure you head over to Giovanni's Table. Now Royal's original specialty restaurant is Chops. Once again, an elevated dining experience. I love that they have the nice large open kitchen over there. It's an unapologetic, classic steakhouse. It has all of your favorite classic cuts of beef. They also have other meats as well. That jumbo shrimp cocktail is delicious. I've had just about every menu item on here and I keep coming back for more. I love a steakhouse and Chops does an incredible job at it. You can see that classic steakhouse decor as well. You've got the beautiful vinyl seats here. You can see you have tables for two, four or larger groups. But what I love is as soon as you walk in the door, you have that intoxicating smell of the steaks cooking. You've got all your favorite sides, the cream spinach, the Gruyere tots, they're all absolutely delicious, but it may be the dessert that's best of all here at Chops. Now this is a multi-use space as well. If you're staying in one of the full suites or you're a Pinnacle member, you can dine here for breakfast each and every single day. Now, as we continue further back past the schooner bar into the Colony Club, you're gonna find a couple pool tables. Now, these aren't like any other pool tables at sea. When they were first introduced on the Radiance of the Seas, 
they were a first of a kind. Now they're gyro pool tables. I was on this ship maybe 10, 15 years ago. The ship was moving quite a bit, but this is always gonna stay flat to the earth. So it's a really, really cool feature that they have that here. In fact, maybe on a rocky day I could sleep here. I don't know, who knows? But this is a fun complimentary activity with friends. Let's see. Yep, that's exactly what I was going for, you know. All right, well, I'll leave that there. Once again, complimentary, a lot of fun with friends. And now we're gonna head further back to the Colony Club. Now, this is a diverse venue. It's a really large venue. You're gonna have a full bar here as well. They're gonna provide service throughout the entire space, beer, wine, mixed alcohol, whatever it is that you would like. And as we head further in, you can see that it really opens up. So at the very middle of the space, you're going to have the dance floor and a stage. So they've had sock hops in here, Basically, if you can think of a fun cruise activity, they can do it in here. Bingo, all of that trivia. So you can see that it's set up now where they've got tables and chairs wrapped all the way around the dance floor. You've got the booth set around as well. And then just up a level, you're gonna find more seating. So there's some seating on the far side there just before you head into the chef's table. We'll take you there in a minute. And then along the windows, they actually have game tables. I've played quite a bit of chess and checkers with some friends up there. My cousin always manages to crush me, but it is what it is. So right here, you're gonna find the sound booth where they can set up for all the different shows and activities. And now we're in the very aft of the ship. So there's another full bar back here. So you got tables and chairs, you can mix and match for larger groups. And they also have some fantastic sofas and love seats looking out the back of the ship as well. Now, right here in the middle, you're gonna find that second full bar. It's a really large one. So you can sit at the bar, you can sit at any of the tables or chairs and they'll provide service throughout. Now on the side, you're gonna find the chef's table. Now this is an exquisite dining experience. It's gonna be a wine paired meal. It's usually five or six courses. You can actually see a Danny Dines chef's table that we did just a couple years ago. We have that on the channel if you wanna see what the food's about and the full experience. But what it really is, is either it's your own private group of up to 10 or several couples or friends together uh, that are meeting for the first time and you get together and have an amazing meal. So the kitchen's just behind and the chef's gonna come out. This is actually a demonstration table here. And they're gonna talk about each and every course. They're gonna explain what they cooked, how they prepared it. And then of course, they're gonna pair it with wines and explain the wine pairing as well. You can see it's set up beautifully here. They even have beautiful decor. I love that chandelier up above of spoons and forks and knives. And then just behind me, you're gonna see the wine cabinet. Now on the other side of the wall, there's a seating area where you can come in, have a cocktail, relax before your experience starts. Now, like with all Royal Caribbean ships, the Brilliance has a great conference center here on board. We've done all kinds of groups over the years. We've kind of set it up just quickly here in a classroom style setting. You've got the nice large flats panel television in front. They've got all the AV needs that you could possibly need to utilize. Now, there's a divider at the back of this room that opens it up and puts the conference rooms together. But keep in mind, when you're traveling with a group, this is a great space, but you can also use the theater, the cinema. There's lots of different spaces that you can use at different times where you can meet, get together, or do the education that you're focusing on. Now we're inside the photo gallery. So you're gonna have your picture taken throughout your trip if that's something that you like. So many people love to capture those memories. I have so many of my favorite cruise photos at home as well. So you'll have that in here. They've digitized the experience for the most part. And then right behind me, you have Focus Photo Gallery. So this is where you can purchase different items. Maybe you forgot batteries, an SD card, something along those lines or you wanna to add to your Royal Caribbean collection, they have different things that you can do with the photos on board. Now they also have GoPros and cameras that you can purchase, once again, at a duty-free price. Continuing along, you're gonna find the Park West Art Gallery. So a lot of our customers do love to purchase art on board. Once again, duty-free, auction prices. I see some works from all of our favorites. We got a bunch of Brito works back there. I think I see Peter Max. Kincaid, a lot of those options. And what I love about this is they'll mix and match these. You can go to one of the art auctions just to educate yourself, to learn a little bit more about the art, or you can go for the free champagne and have a great time. As you'll find on all cruise ships, there's quite a few different retail options on board for you to choose from. Now, the real purpose behind that is the fact that it's duty free. When you're sailing in international waters, you don't have to pay the taxes. And on a lot of goods, sometimes the duty is a huge portion of the cost. So you've got the shop over there, that's the logo shop. That's where you can get all the Royal Caribbean logo wear. You're also gonna have a sundry shop as well where you can get tobacco, alcohol, and of course all the sundries you may have forgotten at home. But once again, a big part of the cost of those items is generally the tax. 
They're gonna have all kinds of high-end jewelry. You have different options there for handbags, clothing. If you can think of it, you can probably buy it here. And once again, at a duty-free price. Now this beautiful space is the main dining room. You can see from here that it's two stories high. I'm actually standing halfway up the staircase that divides the two levels. So right down the middle, you can see what it's all about. You've got that beautiful decor. You've got the curtains that make these pillars here. And then you've got tables for two all the way up to 10 or 12, depending on what you need for your family or group. You've got that exquisite mosaic at the end, and then all along and outside, you're gonna have tables above and below. So there's two levels, like I mentioned, and right in the middle, there's actually a beautiful waterfall feature and a pianist where they're gonna play each and every single evening during dinner. Now, once again, what I love about dining on a cruise ship is that you can really dig into things that maybe you know you love, you're not sure, or you just wanna try for the very first time. It is unlimited, you can have as much as you would like, whether you want those classics like steak, chicken, salmon, or you wanna go a little bit more exotic and take it to another level, you have the opportunity to do that. In fact, some of my favorite foods that I didn't know I loved, I found out on board cruise ships because I could really try anything that I love. Now the waiters and the bus people along with the chefs are gonna make the entire experience fantastic. The culinary team behind the scenes cooks the food. They do an amazing job with that. And in the front of house, you're gonna have some waiters and bus people that are incredibly engaging. They want you to have the most incredible experience. Now, I've mentioned this a couple times on the tour. It is the crew that makes the cruise. First off, thank you so much for spending your time with us today. You can probably now see why we love the brilliance of the seas so much. There's all the favorite classics that you have on a Royal Caribbean ship with its own unique design that the Radiance class is. Once again, this is a Panamax ship built to go through the old Panama Canal. It was the largest ship that possibly could. It can go just about anywhere in the world. And this is the spot where you'll almost always find me. I love the aft of the ship as we sail away here in just a bit. My blood pressure will go down, my smile will go up, and I know that I'm in my home away from home, a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Whether you love the entertainment, the activities, the food, the singing, the dancing, whatever it is, you're sure to find it here on board. And when you're ready to book your next Royal Caribbean, Celebrity or Silver Sea Cruise, make sure you reach out to Hard Travel. We are your Royal Caribbean group experts. We know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with them. And we know that we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the Hard Travel signature service every step of the way.